I pray, Holy Ghost, that you will move me and God, you speak. Bind principalities and power. Every forces of darkness, every confusion and every contrariness, we come against it right now. Destroy the works of darkness. God Almighty, as we stand on this path of ground, the first time God, the first Sunday, amen, having service in this building, consecrate this ground, consecrate the ground, consecrate the entire plaza. God, any bewitched spirit that govern Lord this territory, I root it up, I shuffle it up, God, we use that pickaxe in the spirit and we dig down everything that is not of God. Cancel the assignment right now. Break principalities and powers. Break the powers of darkness. Put every devil to shame. Shut down the plan of the enemy. Break the powers of darkness. Shut up. Break the powerless. Kato Shaya. Elo Shanda. In the name of Lucita. Hey, glory to God. Of Jesus Christ. God, let your will be done in this house. Let your will be done over this region. God, the principalities that govern this region, territorial spirit, I talk to you. Demons are an assignment. I come in the name of the Lord. And I command you to drop your weapons and flee. For the Lord has given authority over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of Jesus. Oto Shaya come against you. Liba Husa. Shayo Sata. Eba Hushando. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we praise you today. We bless you for your excellent greatness. We bless you for your kindness. We thank you for hearing us. Save somebody. Deliver somebody. Bless somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. In Jesus name. Everybody say amen. amen. You may be seated. In the presence of the Lord. Let me officially greet, amen, the Spirit of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus, which is the head of my life and the head of things in this house. My God, I commit everything into his hand. Greetings, praise God, to Evangelist Mori, amen, for the minister Larrick in our presence. Praise God Almighty. To all the wonderful saints. Amen. In the loving name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is good. Good to see Sister Primla and Jada. Amen. Sister Martin. God bless you, woman of God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Peter, John, Gabriel. Amen. And the others. Bless you today. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody is waiting to hear a word. Somebody need a word. God bless you, my sister. Glad to see you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And the whole thing about church is that souls be born for the kingdom. First, live holy, live right. Amen. And make disciples. Praise the name of the Lord. Greetings to all those on my Facebook page that are watching. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. YouTube. Bless you all in the loving name of Jesus Christ. 
Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm happy and glad. Amen. Long time. Praise be to God. Normally it would be before the Zoom. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Enforcing Jesus. Praise be to God. And we have not been out more as we used to. Praise be to God because we know we were held back by Corona. Even though Corona did not stop our mouth from opening. Praise God. Amen. And move up and down. Amen. But following. Amen. Obeying the law of the land. In terms of not trying to get involved in any scandal with. Amen. Praise be to God. Because the enemy loves to put us on front line or front page. Praise God. Where the newspaper is concerned or the observer or the star. Amen. Praise God. So the Bible teaches us to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So as we travel through those times, amen. Praise God. We learn how to conduct ourselves. We see many persons, amen, try to play here and play God. Amen. Jesus, even though he gave us power, even though Jesus was walking with all the other disciples, he still did not give Peter the right to cut somebody ears off. He said, Peter, listen, put up your sword in your sheet. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Because if you live by this, you're not going to be able to preach the gospel. Because somebody went to take you up before time. Praise God, you're going to experience an untimely death. So guess what? Put up your sword. Praise God. And Jesus worked a miracle right there before the soldier's eye. The Bible says, Peter, Peter chop off the man's head. Cut it off. Jesus put it back on. Look at God. Look at God. And with all those things that Jesus did. But nevertheless, Jesus said, for this reason, I came. That's the scriptures must be fulfilled. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The scripture have to fulfill. Yes. So the cup that we get, leave me, let me drink it. Amen. Even though praise be to God, the flesh get weak, and it run three times and say, Father, if it be possible, make the bitter cup pass. Even though he knew it wasn't possible. But all the things that Jesus did is an example to us. Praise God. That we're not all going to get it right at one time. And everything not going to be perfect and dandy in our life. According to our Christian world. You will fell into some situation. Where fear will come upon you until death. Even though he said, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind, but fear going come. Yes. Weakness in the body going come. Yes. The flesh going get weak. Yes. The spirit willing to go on, to attack the situation, to head on yes. with the situation. And know that your master the tribulation and the trials. But the flesh is saying one thing. This is why Paul examined it and said, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this flesh, from this body? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. The flesh always wants to do it one thing. That's true. Praise be to God. But we have to condition ourselves. That on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So I'm happy and glad today, the first day in the house. And in spite of all the enemy fight, I could stand up here and give you testimonies upon testimonies. Of what happened to get us here. But we're not giving the devil no glory. 
And we never talk about it. We are talking about Jesus. Yes. Praise God. He has to do what he has to do. And Jesus do what he has to do. And we do what we have to do. Oh God Almighty. God is looking for determined people. To run with the gospel. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Paul said I'm not ashamed. Jesus Christ God. I feel like I'm going somewhere. Yes. Listen to me people. I'm a Holy Ghost preacher because I don't plan no. on this. And anything Jesus is dropping on my spirit, that's what I'm going. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And I didn't tell you that I'm a Bible scholar in neither. But the Holy Ghost in me is the scholar. Yes. Praise God. God is looking for determined people. Here Paul says in Romans 1 verse 9. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. This is why I stand here today. Because God is my witness. And if it wasn't for the son of Jesus Christ, the son of God, I would not be standing here today. Praise be to God. Because I have a determination and I have a passion for the people of God and for the work of God. Amen. And if you never want to let somebody look at me, I think it was yesterday, and say, listen, Pastor Murray, for whatever reason, for what you have been through, if you never called for this, if God never have his hand on you, you're gone a long time. If God never have his hand on you, if I never got set you up for this, You've gone long time. Making requests. Always pray for the people of God. If by any means, no, at length, I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you, I believe that God already gave me a prosperous journey throughout all of what was going on. My journey was already prosperous. Even to put all of this together, Jesus was in the midst of everything. Jesus was the one, even when me feel fed up in the flesh, but the Spirit still pushed me. Till my wife looked at me and said, Boy, me determined, me think me determined, but you determined, you beat me. You come past me. You determine more than me. I didn't know it would have happened, but it pulled off. Not me pulling it off, but Jesus. I can't take no glory. Hallelujah to God. I have to give the glory to Jesus. Because in Him I live and move. And I have my existence. So because I exist because of Jesus, I have to acknowledge Him. The Bible said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own. In everything, acknowledge Him. And He shall be ready. Oh God. For I long to see you. We long to be together with the people of God. Not just on Zoom and Facebook, but in person. I'm longing. And many times I said, God, where did that happen? You speak some word, you tell me some things, you give me some dream, and you, you reveal yourself to me in a dream, and you show me things like this. So, what I want to know the devil are making it look like everything is a lie, and nothing has to work. God, you have to show up. Good God, not right. Mm. Hallelujah. That I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. So they continue to impart some strength, some spiritual gift, some virtue, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. To the end, he may be established. Many are not established in certain things. Minister Kaba went and for the countless years that he was in church, some of us said, "But well, that should have happened already." But 
if sometimes some people when you're angry they look at you and see the value in you and see the qualification and sometimes you them see but them not please let them let you go you have a step past them come on it's not about you it's about Jesus I'm here to make disciples so it doesn't matter whether you come greater than me or not because you must become greater than me according to the word I'm going to be proud of the products that come out of me Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So see you a excel and a soul. Me no must feel good. It's only a bad minded person. No one feel good. For you. I want you to reach now. When you can sit down and watch your children them in operation. And know that you try your best and teach them well. And you see them doing good. Get up and help push them up for more. There's a lot of things I learned from the Word of God and from God Himself. I didn't learn it from no pastor. There may come upon a lot of pastors, but praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I was not there nice cup of tea at all. So they're never interested in the push me up, no way. But Paul said, to the end, he may be established. My desire is for you to be established in God properly furnished in God. Praise God Almighty. With all the gifts that God put in you, working, manifesting. Praise the name of Jesus. God getting glory out of you everywhere you foot trap. But let me put amen, rope on your foot and rope on your hand. Amen and rope on your neck, tie you like good. You only can go from here to the years. And I remember the days when I would sit in church as a young boy, get the Holy Ghost gifted and God to use me. Power and gift and bubble up inside of me. Oh, but not fully understand everything. And every time they go around somebody out they try to do a cut it down. Like are you give yourself anointed? Or are you make yourself gifted? And all they do I envy you for what you have. And they're trying to kill before you even mature. They are trying to abort your gift, abort your anointing, about your destiny, about your purpose. But God was my stay. Mm. Oh God Almighty. That is that I may be in comfort together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. No, I would not have you ignorant, brethren. I don't want nobody to get ignorant over this. That oft times I purpose to come unto you. We try many times. What Paul has been through, many of us gone through it. Sometimes we won't do the thing. But we was led either to. Sometimes the enemy hinder us. It do happen. Praise be to God. But was led either to. That I may have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am a debtor, both to the Greeks and to the barbarian, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. God wants us to be ready. And there are some ready people that own the place. But as I said earlier, who will they hunger? Not ready for that we go yet. But we're ready. And this is one of my fights in church. Why many don't look at me too much. Because, amen, of what they saw. And when the help is needed, they will help. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. For what reason, I don't know. Lord God Almighty, help us. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel and rope also. For I am not ashamed 
of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. People of God, let me pause right here. I think it was yesterday while I was thinking on God, not premeditating anything, but just thinking on God. Or day before yesterday, one of the two. I thought something dropped in my spirit. While I was, yes, I was worshiping God in the house. And giving God glory and praise. And something said to me, the curse has been broken. The curse has been broken. Somebody said the curse has been broken. The curse has been broken. You see, you have to believe it. Sometimes you're walking under a curse on the moon. Whatever the curse was. And I was just giving God thanks for some things. And I said, God, thank you for breaking the curse of that. And thank you, God, for breaking the curse of that and breaking the curse. Because sometimes you're not going to be able to see everything that is going on in your life. And some baggage that hang upon you sometimes, you're not going to be able to see all of it. Because the enemy of a way of using our tribulation and trials. Amen. And our struggles and if you stress and depression and all kind of something to weigh us down and to get us so busy trying to find a way out of our situation. We cannot see the root of the problem. Until you find yourself at a place with God where God can speak to you and say, all right, I break the curse of this. I break the curse of that. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. When you speak about curse, curse is coming way back from the law. Praise God. All the things that used to happen back then in the early church with Israel, with the other nations. Praise the name of the Lord. And when God said to them, let me run here a little bit. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. When God said unto them, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And the list of curses goes on. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And I begin to look into it and listen to the people of God, not because we are in the New Testament. Praise God. Not because we are not a part of the old no more. Praise be to God. But we still have to know and practice and study and have an understanding of the Old Testament to work according to the new. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Because even though, amen, we are living in heart and our law, praise God because it was our schoolmaster Paul said to bring us into grace. And Jesus come and shed his blood and give us redemption. Praise God Almighty, because without shedding of blood, no remission of sin. So because Jesus' blood was shed, amen, we have no, amen, our, our, our sin now has been remitted. Praise God, it has been, in other words, removed from us. Praise God, that's why Peter would have stand up and said, repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and the promise goes on praise be to God is the cause, amen, of repentance and water baptism in Jesus Christ amen, to be buried with him by baptism into death 
Praise God, we rise up now to walk in newness of life. And Paul said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are past, and the old all are becoming new. Praise God, and somebody ought to give God thanks for the old things that pass and the new things that come about. Praise God, and even though the new things come about, yes, you're baptized, yes, you're filled with the Holy Ghost, yes, you're trying to walk with God, but still some baggage is still there because Paul said, lay aside the weight and the sin that does so easily beset you and run with patience. before you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So some things, amen, according to the New Testament, if we don't obey the law of the Spirit of God, amen, nothing change. Jesus just come and die. Praise God. But the law now is through the Spirit. You receive the law now in your spirit, in your heart by faith. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So no more you will steal, no more you will commit adultery, no more you will commit fornication, no more you will lie, no more you will kill a man. Praise God, no more you will commit, commit your neighbor or your neighbor's wife. No more, praise be to God, amen, you will tease your neighbor's animal. And the list goes on. Amen. Praise God, we're not saying the same thing. But listen, we're in Christ, we are new creature. All things are past, and hard things become new. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So listen to me. The curse has been broken. But if you don't walk in obedience, if you don't walk in obedience, if you don't obey the commandment, and obey the voice of God, Amen. Curse will still come upon you and will still overtake you because his word is from everlasting to everlasting. So his word is still active even in the New Testament. Praise God Almighty. You can be cursed with and can be afflicted with some kind of illness. Praise God when you don't walk. Amen. In the order of God. When you walk contrary. When you walk in obedient and disobedient. When you walk in rebelliousness. When you walk contrary to God. God will walk contrary to you. And the same scriptures. What you read in the Old Testament. And come together with the new. Amen. You will see the same thing manifesting in your house. Even though you say you put out Christ. You get the Holy Ghost. But no live and see what happens. Don't leave us see what happens. Paul said that you have been quick who were dead in trespasses and sins. In time past, we walk according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the year. The children that work in disobedience. But the part that I love, when the fullness of time come, and the grace of God that was revealed, and it has made things different in our life. And so today, we are in heavenly places. Fellow citizens with the saints. We are no more strangers, but we are fellow citizens. Peter said we are a royal peace priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Oh God Almighty, how do you look at yourself? Do you look at yourself as a royal priesthood? Do you look at yourself as a holy nation? Do you look at yourself as a peculiar people, a set apart? Do you look at yourself as the king children? Because of the king is our daddy, you know? Yes. Jesus Christ, a king. He is our daddy. So we are royalty. The Bible said he made us kings and priests. 
Hallelujah. And yet still, some of us still don't walk like king and queen and priest. Some of us still don't walk in our royalty. Listen, the curse have been broken. All that was pronounced that goes also for us, not only for Israel. If we don't walk in obedience. If you don't walk in the fear of God and obey the word of God, the same thing will happen. 28 1 says, And it shall come to pass that thou wilt walk in diligence unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which the Lord commanded thee this day, that the Lord has set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's a promise that he will set us on high above all the nations of the earth. What more than that we could want? And all he said that if we do is obey. That's what he said. He said if we obey, then this will happen. But if we don't obey, what will happen? Mm. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So in give an outlet concerning the curse, and in give an outlet concerning the blessing. And this basically the same thing when said, if you do you get the blessing. The same thing he said, if you don't do, it turned out into a curse. Now, people of God, what would you do? If God said that, what would you do? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But today, I'm glad that the curse has been broken. I'm glad I'm no longer under a curse. I'm glad for Jesus Christ. I'm glad for his shed blood. I'm glad for the power of Almighty God. I'm glad for the fire of Jesus Christ. Which made the difference. I sing the song, he taught me how to watch and pray. And live rejoicing every day. Hallelujah. Oh, happy day. When you learn how to see God. When you learn how to pray. When you learn how to fast. When you know God. When you develop a relationship with Him. When you have an intimacy. It doesn't matter how the storm cloud may rock the ship of yours. The light of your Savior will lead you safely through the night. Though your ship may be rocky and your sails may be torn. In the eye of the storm, good God Almighty, I can feel the rest in the eye of the storm. In spite of my ship, become battered. Sometimes the ship, it gets rocky. A book upon some storm, a book upon some wind. The wind was contrary. The storm boisterous, but in the high, in the depths of the storm, in the midst of the storm, here comes Jesus, while the wind is contrary, Jesus is walking on the water, coming in the storm, to still the storm. There is another one where Jesus was on the inner part of the ship. And the water become boisterous. Yes. They cry, oh Lord, cheer us that we perish. 
Many a time we cry out, amen, in anguish of soul in your house. When, praise God Almighty, your bills become contrary. When tribulation and trials become contrary. When sickness become boisterous and contrary. Amen. And in the eye of the storm of your sickness, in the eye of the storm of your pain, your ache and your heartache, in the eye of the storm, hallelujah, of your tribulation and your trials. I want to tell somebody today that the curse has been broken. I don't care what curse you're going through. I don't care what curse is following you. I don't care which generation. I don't care which language. You pick up some curse. Or you inherit some curse. But the curse has been broken. You need to take a look at yourself. And look at yourself. And hold on, look at me. Amen. Once I was blind. But now I can see that the light of the world is Jesus. But the Lord tell me to come out from among them and be his separate said God. Touch not the unclean things. He said, walk holy. He said, be he holy. For I am holy. He said, I'm a holy God. And praise be to God. How can I recognize that the curse has been broken? Because praise God, I was dead. But now I'm alive and well. In sin, I was dead. I was a walking but there was an Ezekiel who prophesied over my life and said, Try bones, shut up, fire. He said, Try bones, he said, Live. Hallelujah to God. The dead that I was dead, it was a curse dead, it was a spiritual dead. I was living, I was walking, I was eating. Church, my life will never be the same again. 
And I said to a couple person, Corona pass and gone. Yes. And shake up the entire world. Yes. And shake up also the church. Yes. But with all of what happened, God make a shift yes. in the ministry. Yes. For church too long become the norm. Yes. We are more than the norm. We are beyond the norm. Yes. We are not simple people. Yes. And whatever the enemy is throwing on us, yes. somehow we just humble and accept it. No. no. We are not ordinary people, so we can't accept anything that is ordinary. We are not ordinary people. We are extraordinary people. Extraordinary. Praise God. Amen. And this is why the Bible says, walk in the spirit. And you will not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. So people of God, Paul said, I'm ready to preach the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power unto salvation. To the Jews first. And also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God. Revealed from heaven. Against all unrighteousness. And ungodliness of men. Because that which may know of God. Is manifest in them. God has showed it unto them. But when they knew God. They glorified him not as God. Neither was they thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Backslide. They profess to be wise, they become fools. This is what is happening today. There's a lot of people today professing Christianity, professing that they are prophet and apostle and all other things. Praise God Almighty, they become fools, the Bible says. Changing the glory of the uncorruptible God into image made like unto men. They begin to start bow to men and worship men and four-footed beasts and creeping things. They begin to worship animals. Amen. Choosing rather. Amen. To serve and to worship the creature than the creator. Then for these things, then God knows what. That's why the glory of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness. It is what happening today. Praise be to God. That's why the wrath of God is on the land. And that also is a curse. But when you live for God and when you obey His voice, the curse break over your life. Amen. The curse of disobedience. The curse of barrenness. The curse of stubborn will. The curse of Jezebel. The curse of rebelliousness. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Somebody may listen to me preaching. I said, preach, preacher. I'm going to preach good. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean nothing to me. For if I'm preaching and I'm not living for God, it doesn't make no sense. Amen. Then if I die after me, don't preach for God straight ahead. Amen. Preach the last message I'm going ahead. Right. Oh, shut up, Lord, Jesus. Hey, Shia. Jesus. Mighty God. God. Listen, people of God. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty to God to pull down strongholds. I got you to the devil. Because the enemy would have thought that in the first day of the opening of church in the building, why I'm all get this court and in now preach hard. Mm. I'm all keep emotion. Oh, yeah. And I'm about to come the cast of the people in. Oh, yeah. I said, Why would Jane not come out of town and reach and then say, The devil is a liar. Yeah. Amen. The Holy Ghost shift the enemy to thee. Praise God Almighty. I'll have a 20 hour inside you. I preach like a 100 or a thousand. Oh God Almighty. Because it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. No man can come except the spirit draw him. And the spirit of God will want to operate. God sent the prophet a guy. Amen. To lift the spirit of the people and the priests of Zerubbabel, of Joshua. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. The son of Jezebel. Praise God. The high priest and Shetiel. God sent the prophet to lift their spirit and to encourage them. Praise God Almighty. All you need is an encouragement. 
Amen. All you need is somebody to encourage you. The prophet cried out and said, Who is left among you that saw this house? Which house? Is it the physical house or the spiritual house? It can be. It depends on what kind of house. Hey, Shahalahaya. Which one of your houses in a certain situation? Your spiritual house or your natural house? Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it in your eyes in comparison of it? Praise God. The prophet said, For this latter house shall be greater than the farmer. Your house now. Mm. God bring everybody in the one umbrella and we start to see eye to eye again. Praise God Almighty. And everybody not scattering all over the place. But we are again on one accord. Then we can start see eye to eye. And we can start believe the same thing. And say the same thing. And preach the same thing. Praise God. Do our revelation make us sound similar. Praise God. Somewhat different, but it's somewhat the same thing. Praise God Almighty. But at the end of the day, when we sum it up, we are all saying the same thing. Praise God Almighty. Because I hear the Bible said on the day of Pentecost, Hallelujah to God. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one place and one accord. And suddenly there came a song. As a progression might have been. Fill all the house when they were sitting. There appeared unto them clothing tongues like as a fire. It sat up on each of them. Glory to God. And every man, they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. Listen to me. That will happen over 2,000 years ago. It's supposed to happen today. And it is happening because many people don't have faith and many people don't believe in God. Because it's supposed to still happen to me. We're supposed to speak as the Spirit of other ones. The word must be going forth. And somebody, the fire of God come upon somebody that in seed. And you feel it, the Holy Ghost. But too much charisma. Too much cosmetic whatever and charisma going on. And because of the charisma. Some people just look at it as gimmicks and mockery. Did you realize that everything about the Bible and church, Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues, everything become a mockery now on social media? Yes. People are using TikTok yes. and using the, 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 the things, the asset, the things of the church and the things of the Bible to become a mockery, a mockery. to make our money gain off of. Yes. Them are you speaking in tongues now? They are doing action and smart and some are speaking in tongues around the corner. And they are getting likes and share. After we don't achieve, how we can achieve? Not because him say, oh everyone that is thirsty, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Salvation free. Yes, but you still have to pay a price. Because your soul is the price. It's nothing physical. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with care and house and your education. That can buy salvation. Salvation is a spiritual thing. We soul is a spiritual thing. And the word that is coming out of this world is spiritual. And you have to change from mortal to immortality. You have to change from corruptible to incorruptible to can inherit. Listen, a two places come. One for everlasting domination and one for everlasting life. And for the two of them you have to change. You ever look into that? Man of God, for the two at the end of this coming, you have to change. From martyr to immortality we got him. And from martyr to immortality we got him. You have to put on the body that can live in the heavenly land. And you have to put on the body that can sustain the heat in judgment. Good God Almighty. 
So this band that we have right now, no win. This is a suit. You saw some of we go on. I watch a video with this boyfriend. Video. My brother has sent it to me. Video himself a killing girlfriend. Put too much shot in her. 18. 18 shot in her. I want to ask you what you want to do. Because I think you don't do a whole clip. And every one of them bullet them. It have the name of something I'm going on. I pay revenge on them. One of the bullet name you wicked you. No. One of the bullet name you evil. One of the bullet name you cheater. One of the bullet name how you how could you do this to me? One of the bullet name you never love me. Oh Lord Jesus Christ God Almighty. So every bullet in my fire, it have a meaning, it have a symbol. The one that lick out our head front have a meaning. The one that lick out our head back have a meaning. The one that lick out all the wig off our head. You know, it's about it. She gets gone shot in the head, so till all the wig drop off. The shot take off all the, the shot say, when we move the ear, come on, make sure catch this call. My God. It's no joke. Look at the world that we live in. Yes. Cold blooded. You reach the point where you can't forgive somebody. Yes, it's hurtful. It's hurtful. How could you do such a wicked thing? You are the man dead, and at the same time, you would whatever happened or whatever she find herself in with the daddy, get her pregnant. The boy no motive. And in done she. The first shot she gets she ball out. The one they connect. After that, no more book. Nothing more could come out. The first shot killer. She did from the first shot. From the first battle. And then she was silent. From the from the got the shot lick her up. Pitch her off her ground. She dead from the first shot. But you know if you watch the video good. If my father with the phone all along the video. And I don't know they were having a conversation or she never knows they have a gun. And when she turned around. He might already take it out. And she can make up his mind what he might do. Right in her face, my dear. Jesus. So that was the first one that she turned on. It, it, you saw a bunch of powerful. It pitched her off her feet. Jesus. But God still powerful than that. The curse has been broken. If God man was coming out for me, the curse had already broken. The curse of the gunshot broken. The curse of the bullet, the curse of the gun itself, the curse of the gun man, the curse of death, Shia, the curse of everything has been broken. Yes. Holy Ghost, Shadow side. Hey, glory to God. Let me wrap this thing up. So, people of God, let us serve God in spirit and in truth. Yes. Let us live for Him. The Bible said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. God don't have a thought towards you for you to get gunshot. But a thought of peace. Yes. And a good future. Yes. My God from glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I bless the God of heaven today who have blessed us. This is spiritual blessing. We sit down here naturally assembled together, but this is spiritual. Even this gathering is spiritual. That's why I'm telling you this that some churches where you see some evil walking and just do some things. Have you got no God for today? Because if God did it, if the right power did it, it subdued. Yes. Yes. The right presence of God, the raw power, subdue gunmen. Yes. Oh, yes. Subdue bullet. Yes. You want fire shot, you want get up, you want to sit down under the building, you wait for the right time to move, and something in there buying you. It bound you. The angel never already subdue you. 
plane, my universe, from outer heaven, outer the sky, my universe. But it was not physical. The physical sky where you look on man not behind it. Just water and space. And they go plan and they move there. Did you know that everything of this is a spiritual thing? But in the spirit, there's a spirit sky, there's a spirit heaven that is different from this one. There's a spirit realm that is beyond us. You have to go through the spirit world to get there. And you have to be spiritual to get there. Right now, a bill we are built and a make we are make. Christ is now farming in us. That's how we study the word. When you study the book, a farm in a farm in you. Growing grace passes than in the knowledge of God. When Christ finished farming you, when he dwells in you richly, when you open your mouth, that's how signs and wonders come easy. Miracles come easy. Because you are now in the spirit. So that you touch somebody, then get healed. Ah, she goes up. Somebody that has blindness, as you put your hand on the eye, then get sight. Chatter and drop off. Then death, praise God, as you put your hand on the heel, because you're no more natural. You're no more walking in the flesh. When you walk in the spirit, the things that happen. Sickness is spiritual. Death is spiritual. Blindness is spiritual. Chatter up. Every illness is spiritual. So you have to be spiritual to deal with the spiritual illness. Stop looking at it. Amen. Doctor, try to recommend and try to fix the situation physically. And then have no answer for it. They can't do it. They run out of answers. They run out of ideas. But take such a person to a man of God or a woman of God and watch the difference with somebody who is spiritual. One prayer you pray, or one lay you lay your hand, if the God permit you, or you speak a word over the person's life. Amen. Praise God. And the cripple get up walk. The lame talk. The dumb talk. The blind see. The sick heal. The dead raise. You've got to be spiritual. Because everything is spiritual. Even death is spiritual. Why do you think when you go to your bed? And when you go to your bed, your physical body is asleep. But your, your spirit man is so active. Which world that your spirit man is in? And the world that your spirit man is in, it looks like the natural world. But it's not the natural world. It's the spiritual world to the natural world. You never know. There's a spirit world to this world. Hello? There's a spirit word to this world. So that's why, praise God Almighty, when I got the dream a week ago, I'm, I'm, I'm standing on the flat downstairs, and a tree is before me. I'm a whole heap of ministers and pastors in the tree, in a jacket suit. And the one of them sit down, I don't know how they reach up there. They call my name. And they were in discussion. They called the church name. Listen to me. Mori name of God are holy for people. And upper room church of God are holy for pastors. I'm not dreaming of that. And they are discussing. And planning how to overthrow me. And God said it will not work. If they could have overthrow me. They would have done it long time. They try something, they spend up our wood. Their money they wouldn't spend up with a kid, then they probably check for them one. Could I give them mansion on top of mansion? And when they're done, they're going to be everything on the move up. First, a dog rush me. Dog never succeeds, one brown dog. Secondly, one push come out of nowhere. Look, I think I want black and white post. Come out of nowhere. Run up on my foot. And the way my friend me shake the post off. Jump out of my sleep. But before that day, I end up in another place, in town. They sent two gunmen out for me. And the gunman they wore the gun for me, so. First one runway. But I realized I don't know where he's but he's running confused and run. The second one turned up to say, look for me, so. And I don't know what he was saying, but he get confused to him have to move God. Listen to me, when God is upon your life, even in the other world, listen to me, if you're dead in the spirit world, dog eat your supper in the natural world. Because this is how the manifestation takes place first. 
unless God resurrect you back. Anything take place with you in your dream, get up and pray immediately. Before you go eat, take and bread, get up pray. Before you go drink, how many can perish? Get up and pray. Before you go to the kitchen, before you go Buy them debt and never live to collect the money. Your bank can't give it for your debt. Listen to me, man. It's because of lack of knowledge. People are destroyed. Everything is spiritual. Anything you see in dreams, don't take it simple. I'm done. My hope is built and nothing less. Somebody today repent and give God your life. Those are the hearing of my voice. Repent. Those that are listening on Facebook, YouTube, wherever, repent. Give God a chance in your life. Accept Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You have long for sweet peace. I'm for faith to increase. And I burn it. Be brave. But you can not oppress. Or be perfectly blessed. Until all of the altar is laid. Is your heart on the altar of sacrifice? Your heart that the Spirit controls. You can go.
Because it's going to take power to show forth the glory of God. It's going to take the real genuine anointing to prick the heart of mankind. Because many of us have made it bad. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Holy Ghost. Satario Bosha. Hey, 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 hey. Money. Hallelujah. Money. But when you know God, Money. nothing moves you. Money. Paul said, let none of these things move you. Money. Money. The storm don't last always. Put in the storm is kicking up on us. But by the time we get back here, they ain't gonna be no more storm. They gonna wonder where the storm is. And who did have a crazy storm? Where they? Because God has a way to move up. Oh yeah. Remember now. Anyway, God sent Israel and said, take the city. Kill them out and do what? Take the city. So we come from run with demons and devils. Capture the soul them for Jesus. Kidnap them for Jesus. Arrest them for Jesus. Take the city. And in order to take the city, you have to be sent. Heaven have to be backing you up. Same, sir. And you have to come with full force and authority. Amen. But if you come dry, and you come for not a, not a mission and motive, you're going to be devoured. Hallelujah. Praise God. But I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. God bless everybody today. Is there anybody that is blessing the house? Come on, lift your hands to God. Come on, lift your hands to God. Just tell him thank you, Jesus. For what you have done for me. For how you provide and supply. Even if you have needs and you don't see it yet, still tell him thanks for what you don't see. Tell him thanks for what you don't see. It don't come yet, it don't happen yet. Give him thanks for it. Thank you, Jesus. God, I ask you for dust and dust in the coming, but thank you, Lord. Amen. It's on the way. Thank you. Amen. Speak it into being. Amen. Speak it into existence. We have the authority to. The Lord bless you. Praise God. We're going to pray at this time. We're going to pray. I'm going to ask Brother Brown to do the prayer. Praise the name of Jesus to come up and do the prayer. We already believe God. We already know that He's able. So He's going to pray. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, God. We have to give God thanks for His grace and His mercy to God, for the man of God, that God for the world, that school for our soul. As we go to close the us, Lord, and ask God to guide and protect and cover us. Heavenly Father, God, as we come today before you, Almighty God, we give you thanks for the word before Lord Jesus. Mighty God, we thank you for the man of God right now, Lord Jesus Christ. Can you to bless him with the word, Lord God? Fill him up, Lord God, make it run over. God, we thank you for each and every one that will spend the time to come out to the Lord Jesus Christ. And mighty God, as we going back to our home, Lord God, each and different places, God, we ask you for your guidance, we ask you for your protection. God, we ask you to watch over our soul. Fly him and strap up the whole dragon, tear them sins and kill them, God Almighty God. Be with us, Lord God Almighty. I think the vehicle that we're going to go in now, you'll be the master driver of that vehicle, Lord God Almighty. God, pray us through the day and the night and forever, Lord God Almighty. While we give you thanks, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Amen. Thank you all for being in the house today. Amen. We will not say any benediction because Amen service will be in the building again. The Lord bless you. Yes, at 6 Amen service. God bless you and God for you. In Jesus' name, thank you all for coming.